guys, it's Audra and today's video that I have for you is my basic spring look. This is just kind of the look that I do when I'm in a hurry or you know just I'm running around kind of my everyday type look. So I will go through this look with you and if you'd like to see more, stay tuned. She's my muse for Alright guys, so the first thing I like to do is um, to go ahead and put stuff in my hair that I'm going to put in when it's wet. Um, so I've done that and then I'm just going to take some butterfly clips and kind of just clip it back out of my way while I do my face. And then um, once I get all my face makeup applied, then I'll pull it down so that it can dry in its spot. This roughness look. Okay, so now that I've got that pulled back, I haven't moisturized or anything, so I will moisturize now. Now, for the spring and summer, I like to use a BB cream, and I kind of differ on which one I like. If I get a sample of one, I like to try those out. Um, right now, I'm using the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream. and But before I put on my BB Cream, I like to put something else on my skin, whether it be a primer or just something else. You know, I know that it's not necessarily always needed with a BB Cream, but um, I just like to do it. So I'm going to put on this Lancome product. Pick me up off this crowd. BB creams you can obviously put, apply them with your hand. I like to help blend it out with my Sigma Round Top Kabuki F80. She's made from sugar, the sweet sound of her mule's mentile. It's what a perfect thing for me. For BB cream, I would say that this one is pretty like coverage. Um, so, on the places where I'm a little bit redder, I like to go back and um, kind of go over it again. I don't mind a lighter BB cream in the summer and the spring because my skin is typically a lot um, healthier in, during those times. I don't feel like I have as much to cover up. However, when I do have a few blemishes to cover up, I like to reach for my MAC Pro palette. Typically I like to use MAC Mineralize Skin Finish for setting everything, but in the summer, especially when it because it gets so hot here in Oklahoma, I like the Too Faced Primed and Pore Lips. And with that, I move on to bronzer, and my favorite bronzer is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, which I can't open. And I use this as my contour. To pick me up this now, to the eyes, because obviously that's what everybody's waiting for. In the summer, I don't like to do it real heavy. I like to do this like keep it out and run because I know pretty much by the end of the day my makeup is going to melt off. So my goals typically in the summer are sun protection in case I'm outside and just to kind of even everything out and also to do it quickly. I don't want to waste a lot of time on something that's going to melt. So I also really focus on doing things that will help my makeup to stay. So obviously we're going to do a lid primer and I'm using the balms to put a lid on it. This is just a little sample size I have. I do have a big size too, but I am trying to use this sample. She's a long hair, southern beauty. After I put on my shadow primer, I like to fill in my eyebrows and I like to use the Revlon Brow Fan. Now, like I've mentioned, I like to keep it simple, so I'm just using a couple of products. I'm going to be using 
this Naked Pigment by MAC and my Naked Basics. First, using our MAC Pigment in Naked, we're going to apply that all over the lips. I'm also going to take it right up along the bottom. Now, just taking a fluffy brush, this one is the MAC 224. I'm going to take this color, Naked 2, and put it right in my crease. And that's all I do. I like to keep it really simple. If I'm going out or something and I want to add to this, you, I would just take Faint or Crave, these two darker colors. Sorry, I'll try not to. And just darken up the outer corner. But for now, this is it. This is the look. I'm actually going to be using two eyeliners for this look, one for the top, one for the bottom. For the top, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Demolition. And then on the bottom, same thing, just in underground. This one is a very dark uh, matte brown, and this one is kind of a more toby golden -y brown, and I'm going to use this. And I am using Max Extended Play Giga Black Lash. She's made from sugar. The sweet. So I quickly just give him a little curl. It's what a perfect. Absolutely, like I'm in love. I purchased these last year, probably, I don't know, whenever Urban Decay came out with their new lipstick formula. And um, recently just kind of started wearing this again, and I've been obsessed. I will shoot in a picture right here of Sunday when I wore this to church. Situation. I love it, I'm obsessed. So I'm going to start by lining my lips with the uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Street. And then I'm going to kind of color in um, like my Widow's Peak and around the edges. That my cold stone heart is turning black and black. I'm going to mine in all the way. I know a lot of people do and really like that look. But for me, I want to like give the edges something that the middle doesn't have. Now we take our lipstick in the same color. This is Streak. To pick me up. And we call it good. Now let me fix my hair real quick. Voila. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like a review, a full review on any of the products used today, just let me know down in the comments section. There will be a full review of the Olay Fresh Effects BB Cream coming up. Yeah, coming up here in a couple of weeks. Um, I want to use it a little bit more before I give my full review on it. Um, please, please, please thumbs up this video and subscribe if you have not. Until later, bye.